If you are an email developer or someone looking to become an email developer, I'm going to put you guys on to the best tools that you're going to need as an email developer. So let's get started. Number one, guys, you already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingfigs.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again one more time. So yes, today let's talk about some of the tools that you're gonna need. Because everyone thinks that HTML emails are so easy. It's like, oh my God, anybody could do this, right? But guess what? You need certain tools to be able to do a good job. So we already know there's ESPs, right? Email service providers. So you have things like Gmail, if it's on uh, Gmail on iOS, Gmail on Android, if it's AOL, Yahoo, shoot, Microsoft Outlook. And sometimes I'll be thinking, who uses Microsoft Outlook or anything with Microsoft? And usually is companies, right? Enterprise level companies and also to some of the old school Windows users. So you have to make sure that those emails look good in every single platform that's out there. So today I wanna go in and show you guys a couple of the ones that is the most popular, right? So you have email on Asset. A lot of people have used this over the years, right? It's a service that they allow you to do testing, they show you the email previews, right? But I could tell you, you know, it's a little bit expensive. This is what the professionals use. This is the things that you're gonna use at a company, but guess what? You as a developer, you don't have to pay for it. That's on the budget of the company, right? So paying $74 a month is nothing to, you know, a multi-million dollar company. Like you look at this, oh, $74, that's nothing, right? So again, but for the average developers, you look at this, you're like, damn, how am I gonna test my emails? This thing's $74, this is crazy, right? Then from there, you have the next one, which is Litmus. Litmus is another one that I've recommended for a lot of years. They have a lot of free tier tools that I will say are really good. But over the years, I've noticed that they've been changing their prices, right? So now they're basically competing with email on asset and they're like, hey, if email on asset is charging $74, shoot, we could be charging, you know, 79, okay? So guess what? That puts us out of that range. I don't want you guys spending $79 a month to test out your email, especially if you're just starting or just getting into the industry. I'm going to put you guys on. And the tool we have here is called Testy at. So T-E-S-T-I dot at. So that 18, <laughs> right? So again, this isn't the most prettiest uh, website. This isn't like the most professional company we could say, right? But what's really good about it is like it works, okay? It works. It gives you exactly what you need at, at a price that makes sense, okay? We're talking about $16 for 31 days, right? So this is basically coming out to 50 cents a day in a sense, all right? This is actually pretty solid. All right, I have no complaints of this company. I think what they're doing is amazing. It allows people to test out their emails at a, for an affordable price, right? Because most of these companies, they know that as a business, you have to go in and run emails and they know that, guess what? If you're making money, you got it, right? But what happens when you have a small business or what happens when you are an independent email developer, right? Guess what? Those prices might be a little bit too high. This is the best company that I found. And I want to thank some of you guys that were subscribers of mine that told me about this. I can't remember the right person. I don't know if it was Ivan Hurt who put me onto this, or maybe it was Henry Garrido. I don't know. It's one of you guys, okay? So it's always cool when my own students come in and be like, hey, Joe, I found something really cool. Come check this out, okay? So thank you for that and putting me on because now I use this all the time. Now, I'm going to go in and show you guys this example. This is an actual email that I got from Saks Fifth Avenue. So it's actually a pretty nice looking email. So what I did was I just went in, the save as, and saved the whole page and all of the assets for this email. Now, the images are not going to look perfectly on this because this isn't the real email. I'm just saving it directly from the page itself. So there might be some issues, but I wanna show you guys how you could go in and test out your own emails. So once you have your emails and you have your images already deployed somewhere, right? All of your assets are either in a CDN or on your own website, okay? You're gonna come back into Testy, okay? You're gonna click on over here, let's say you're on the homepage, you click on next, 
right? New test, click over here, right? And you're just gonna paste your code. And you could actually see a preview of how your HTML email is going to look. Now, of course, like I said, there's gonna be some issues with the images, but pretty much everything is in here um, as far as like, you know, the HTML, the CSS, how it's supposed to look, right? So once you have all of this here, then from there, you're gonna come here and choose which type of uh, email service providers you wanna go in and, and get images from. So pretty much get a preview of how it will look on those platforms. You have all of the Outlook classics, you have Outlook for Mac OS, Apple Mail, Thunderbird, uh, Gmail, Yahoo Mail, Outlook iOS, Android, uh, Android Gmail, Samsung, Apple Mail, Gmail, Outlook, right? So you have all this stuff that you could go into. You could also just choose one of these and it will show you how it will look on Chrome. So yes, there's a lot of different options. Me personally, I would just go in and choose Gmail for for Chrome and then from there you will have like this all the outlooks like always pay attention to outlook because I guarantee you if it works on Gmail or it works on iOS Gmail you're pretty much good to go but if it doesn't work on Outlook it's probably work like it's probably broken everywhere else so you gotta pay attention to that so again once this thing starts running is basically going to start sending up the images for you so you could get a preview of how your email will look in all of these different service providers. So let's take a look, right? So this is like iPhone, iOS, right? iOS 15. And there's always gonna be some like little variations between the different email service providers. But what you really care about is to get as close as possible. It's almost impossible to get everything exactly the same unless it's one of those emails that's nothing but images okay that's the only way you're gonna always get a bunch of you know a bunch of emails that look exactly the same and that's one of the reasons why you'll see companies and i'll show you guys right now what i mean like this one this is peacock and what they do is they just go in and make everything an image you see all of this is just images okay you pretty much cannot mess up <laughs> <laughs> because it's just all images all right so all of this is, is images some of these buttons are not but as you can see they try to keep the things that are like let's say buttons or titles they try to keep it very simple just like hey one-liners right keep it centered super simple so they make their lives really easy by using images and making the layouts very simple that way is going to be consistent in every single platform that's out there okay these type of emails are actually the easiest ones to do but once you get into like doing transactional emails or doing certain type of emails that need a lot of columns, a lot of tables within them, like, yeah, it could get a little bit difficult. And this is where you're going to need a service like this. So definitely go check out testy.at. All right. If you are an email developer or trying to become one, this is one of those tools that you're going to save a lot of money, bro. Like you can't compare you know, Litmus or any of this other services with this 16 bucks to give you a preview of your email. Like you can't go wrong. Now, again, guys, I'm not even getting paid for, <laughs> for this promo that I'm giving these people. They should give me a little something test. Yeah. Give me a little promo. Give me an affiliate link, something. Let me eat. All right. <laughs> Definitely. But for you guys, you have to check out, you know, that platform. And also too, man, if you're looking to learn how to code, looking to get into the tech industry, looking to get into email development, guys, this is the number one platform, codingphase.com. We've been doing this for seven plus years, right? You go in and search HTML emails. You're going to find my face there, okay? Anybody that knows about email development knows that this is the platform where we actually go in, teach people, and get people ready results. If you want to come to codingphase.com, take advantage now, get 20% off on coding phase, right? We don't just sell courses. We give you the full service. Okay. You have everything from 
12 hours group coaching, right? You have different career paths like web producer, email developer, front end developer, Shopify developer, back end developer, full stack, right? Job search research. We go in, we search for jobs, we give you the list, okay? We make sure that your portfolio is solid. We give you the projects, okay? We have the tech accelerator program, which literally lays out everything for you so you could come in and hit the ground running, all right? You don't have to believe me. You could go through the testimonials, check out some of the people that have came through, all right? And this is just a small amount of all the students that we've had at codingphase.com that have found success and have found their jobs in this industry. So again, if you want to get into this, definitely check out codingphase.com. Click on the link in the description, get that 20% off, save some money, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.